Hi everybody. It's Mr. Fowley. Ah. Oh. And welcome to Podcast 10.2. We're going to talk about concentration and other types of it, such as molality, parts per million, billion, trillion, density, and dilution. So let's go ahead and hop into that. All right. Molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Weighing, meaning kilograms, which is mass, is sometimes easier, but usually it's not, which is why molarity is preferred. Molal is a lowercase italicized M, so practice your italicized writing, do the best you can. Find the molality of 25 grams of sodium fluoride dissolved in 750 grams of water. So again, notice, just like last time, it's moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Well, guess what? I don't give you moles, I give you grams. Go into moles. And I don't give you kilograms, I give you grams. Go into kilograms. Okay, and water is your solvent. So 25 grams of NAF times dividing bar, grams of NAF, one mole of NAF, and 22.99 is sodium, plus 19 is fluorine, so 41.99. So if I did 25 divided by 41.99, I would get 0.595. And then I told you before that grams to kilo things, we're going to move it three spots, one, two, three, like milli or whatever it is. So three times smaller. So molality is going to be 0.595 moles over 0.750 kilograms. So that answer divided by 750, 0.750, pardon me, is 0.794 molal is the way you say that. Note, the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter, so 750 milliliters would also be 750 grams. You should know that. You should know that. What mass of water is needed to dissolve 0.025 grams of sodium cyanide to make 0 0.050 molal poison? So, molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent, not solution, just water. Okay, so I've got 0 0.05. And then I want moles, but I've got grams of this. So I've got to change that to moles. 0 0.00250 grams of NaCN times the batting bar. Goodbye, grams of NaCN. Hello, moles of NaCN. Little g means grams, which means go to the periodic table. Sodium, 22.99. Plus carbon, 12.01. Plus nitrogen, 14.01. All together is 49.01. And then this will give me, whoops, 0 0.0025 divided by 49.01 is 5.10e negative 5. That's my moles of solute, 5.10e negative 5 moles over kilograms. Solve for kilograms. Cross multiply, 5.1e negative 5 over 0 0.05 equals divided by 0 0.05, 0 0.00102 kilograms, which would be, if I want to put it in grams, 1.02 grams. Either answer is fine. Parts per is used in environmental science frequently. That's pretty much all they use. Parts per thousand, and occasionally part PPT, denotes one particle of a given substance for every thousand total particles. Okay, so that would include the solute. Okay. This is equal to one second per 17 minutes. Parts per million, same deal. One part per million, that's one second every 280 hours. Ooh. Parts per billion, um, um, that's a billion. So one second every 32 years. Whew. Parts per trillion, um, no, it's one particle for every tr trillion, obviously. One second every 320 centuries. These numbers matter. Parts per billion are how you count some things in water that are tolerated. Density can help us find other things. We purchased hydrochloric acid as a concentrated aqueous solution that is 12.1 molar hydrochloric acid with a density of 1.18 gram per milliliter. So find the molality and find the percent by weight. So what I'm going to do is kind of deconstruct 12.1 molar equals 12.1 moles of HCl in one liter solution. So if there's 12.1 moles in a liter, I can then change that into grams of HCl. Right? 
So 12.1 moles of HCl times dividing bar, 1 mole HCl, 36.46 grams of HCl. Let's go to the periodic table, boys and girls. And I ask my calculator, 12.1, whoops, 12.1 times 36.46. And I get 441. So that means in a liter of solution, I have 441 grams. Now notice this density part right here. This says 1.18 grams of solution in one milliliter of solution. Now I can change this to liters by multiplying it by 1,000. Right? So multiply the top by 1,000. 1,180 grams of solution in one liter. Notice how this is the same now. Okay, So 441 grams in one liter. So that means that grams of solution minus solute will equal solvent. My solution 1180 minus 441 739 grams of H2O. Okay, so if I want to do the molality, the molality equals moles, right? So per kilogram, right? So the moles of solute I have right here is 12.1 moles, and then kilograms of solvent. Well, I know I have 739 grams of water. Pardon me, not hydrogen. Over 0.739, 12.1 divided by 0.739 equals 16.4 molal. Percent is going to be the part of HCl over the total solution. Whole thing weighs 1180. Notice how treating things, just assuming you have 100%. Or, I'm sorry, uh, one liter makes life a lot easier. 37.4% HCl by mass. Okay. Sulfuric acid H2SO4 has a density of 1.84 grams per milliliter and is 95% H2SO4 by weight. Calculate the molality, calculate the molarity. Okay, so again, I'm going to go right to the liters. So that means I have 1,840 grams in one liter. Okay. If it's 95% H2SO4 by weight, then 1840. So that means 95%, 0.95% of 1840 of means times is H2SO4. So 1840 times 0.95 is 1748. Okay. So molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. Now this is going to be crazy. Uh, water is going to be our solvent here even though we have more water or more sulfuric acid here. So the molality is going to be 1748 grams. Got to change that into moles. I'll do that down here. 1748 grams H2SO4. And then it is 96. I should know that one. 32 plus 64 plus 2. 98, pardon me. 98 grams H2SO4 and one mole. So 1748 divided by 98 equals 17 point, I'm sorry, 17.8 moles of H2SO4. So the molality would be 17.8 moles over, notice this is 1748, 1840 minus 1748. Solution minus solute solvent. 1840 minus 1748 is 92. And kilograms would be 0 0.092 kilograms. This is going to be enormous. 17.8 divided by 0 0.092. That's 193 molal. Okay. Molarity, we already said it's 17.8 moles, right, in one liter. 
So that's 17.8 molar. All right, divided by 1. Making solutions. Dilutions. Solutions say the number of moles. So we can solve for moles from molarity. So we want equal moles. So MV equals moles. So remember, molarity equals moles over liters. So if I did multiply these two, MV instead of L equals moles. Once we find the amount of concentrated, we add water until we have the desired volume. So we'll do some questions like that. Dissolving analogy or how I got kicked out of an education class. Okay, a guy did a demonstration that said, oh, we got these giant rocks in here. And he said, um, and he brought in a fish tank like this. He said, is it full? And everyone in the class said, yeah. I said, no, and he poured in a bunch of little rocks. And this is what happens when you dissolve. right? And then it says, is it full now? And you go, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then he pours in sand. And so we looked down. And he said, is it full now? And he said, uh-huh. then he pours in water. And he said, is it full now? And we said, uh, no. And he said, of course it is. What else could you possibly do to it? And made us all look dumb. But you need to know that when you add stuff to water, it fits in the spaces in between. So if I add 10 milliliters of salt, NaCl, plus 10 milliliters of water, it equals something like 10.6 milliliters of solution. And it's unpredictable. You just have to do it on your own. So you got to remember that you have to add enough water to do that. Using four molar solution of MgSO4 to determine how to make 300 millilitres of 1.7 molar solution. So notice these two go together. So I'm going to have MV equals MV. These two go together. 1.7, volume is 300, equals four molar solution, and V. V equals... 1.7 times 300 divided by 4, 127.5 milliliters. So if I have to determine how to make it, I would say take, watching my sig figs, 130 milliliters, we'll pretend that's a decimal point, of 4 molar MgSO4 and add enough water. Notice I don't add the difference, I don't add you know, 170, I add enough distilled water to make 300 milliliters of solution. That's the whole point, is you can't add them together. You'd never say 130 plus 170 equals 300, because it doesn't. It's less than that. Okay. Um, again, notice how these guys go together. M1, 1.6, V1, 174 equals all right, usually, uh, to 1 liter. So my new volume is 1,000. Now I've got to make sure my units match. This is milliliters, this is liters, so I convert the liters into milliliters. M2 equals 1.6 times 174 divided by 1,000. And I got 0.278 molar. Okay, Makes sense, it got diluted. Okay, Determine how to make it. Okay, so yeah, there you go. We determined it. It doesn't say how do you make it. 750 millilitres of 2 molar NaCl evaporated to 550. What is the new volume? Again, I'm doing a dilution thing. M1V1 equals M2V2. 750 millilitres of 2 molar. Those go together. 2, 750. Whoa. I like the number 5, I guess. Equals M2, 550. So 2 times 750 divided by 550 equals, should be more, right? And it is 2.72 molar. Know your formulas. When making solutions, don't add a specific volume of water. Fill until you get a volume of whatever you get a volume of. And know your parts so you can be part of a billionaire too. Toodles.